Okay, so I've got a really interesting little job. Just, it's just my cup of tea, really. This wall, this little flower pot, isn't it? A big old flower pot. I got it, yeah, I got it. A planter, maybe. I got it painted. Yeah, so it's coming apart down there at that end. Got the ambulance competing for sound here. Got this part down here in the back down here. Bowing out pretty good. So, joints, obviously the whole thing needs it, but you don't want to do the whole thing. We just want to make it make it last for a little bit longer. You got to paint it white, eh? White or magnolia? What, well, These. No, I've got that color. That's like, a, it's almost magnolia, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I've got, I've got the two running. This one's not too bad, is it, really, no, compared to the other one? That one's all right. Yeah, so you want me to get that ready so you can paint it? Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. I gotta give it a little bit of a rub down or something for wipe it down a little bit. Then you, now I'll just go ahead and paint it for you too, you really. I got some masonry paint, but do you have any paint that color? Yeah. So, there we go. Got the pictures now. I'll be coming back to this in just a minute. I'm gonna cut one of these big uh, blocks that I'm using. Now, I started this morning, about an hour ago. It's taking me a while to finger out what to do. That's that side. I'm gonna angle the, the blocks in at the top a little bit. And I've been thinking of ways to um, reinforce it. And I found this mesh this wire mesh. I'm gonna use that on the inside or any place I can use it. So next one I gotta cut is that one that's going against the tree there. So I'm giving the tree lots of room. See, this is what happened before. This, this tree grew up and blasted the planter out. So I'm having to make it into a modified bows, bows type thing, curved in. So that one's, I'm cutting that next. Get that in. And get these, these two here semi-level like the one on the right has to go down a little bit and then I'll be able to lay all those right up to that corner piece and that's what we want to do okay so now the next thing is over here cutting this block scoped out the camera angle I think is right here just put my gloves on it's about March Eight is it nineteenth today? My birthday's on the twentieth. Thank you very much. Yes, happy new year. So goggles on, headphones on, sound protection. Radio oh, I can't use the radio because I'm filming with it. That sucks. right now but uh, I don't want to try oh that's big time blast I'll be doing doing some mixing of the old mortar game. Thanks for watching.
Well, oh no, camera's wrong angle. I'm using my uh, SDS drill bit, drill, drill, to spin the um, mortar. Now there's definitely a big difference in these swirly things on the end, these stirs. They make, I couldn't believe how much difference a good one makes. That's the first time I've had a really good one. And the water's a little bit, the mud's a little bit thick. I don't know if a bit, that might be a bit too choppy, but I'll try that. It's really thick in there. So what I do is I take a thing like this and I got the sand and the cement. One scoop of sand, uh, one scoop of cement to four of sand. That's sharp sand, so you probably could make it a bit uh, stronger. A little bit more cement in there. That's, that's soup now. I screwed up. So what I have to do is just make a little half batch. So, I call that two, four, so I just need a, a quarter of that in there. And then I usually make putting in places to reinforce this corner down here. I detected a, a bit of a, a zag there, but I can't do the whole wall. And it's just starting to sprinkle. Which way is it coming? Busy, busy road right here. This street, this house is, I would imagine a pretty high theft too, because there's this busy street and that garden is right there. So anyway, I've taken this mesh four wide all the way down to there and I reinforced this corner down here with it on the inside and I'll put a piece across there. You can see that big... I'm going to have to do some brick cutting to make that work. I didn't want to take the time to cut that one down anymore. I wanted it in there. So I'll put some... i got a strip of this so I can go with the next brick now which is this little half guy. And what I'm just picking up on, I've been doing this a long time, but I'm still learning. Um, is the mud sticks better to a wet brick today. I don't know if it does tomorrow or not, but see, I'll just, just take the brush, figure out which end's which. Um, baba, humbaga, humbaga. I don't really, it's got to be this way, doesn't it? That's got to be down now. Shit. Well, that's the right. That's the endo job there. No. No, just got to fiddle with that one. And then the next one will be a full one across there. So then I can take my little trowel and work this in. Work some mud in there. Now I get that next brick in. Then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do for the cut, how that last piece is going to end up over or under. I don't know. So I want to get this one in now. Just work at it with the mortar. So you got, then I got to angle the dangle here so that it looks good. Even though it's only sticking out quite a bit down there. I might try and bring that out a little further, closer to the front. I'm sure I will. Okay, I'm not using the level. I'm just eyeballing it. I just got a problem here. I'd looked at this before, this little piece here, but I didn't know what it was, and now I can see what it is. It's a filler, like about 25, 30 mil of pure mortar to get that one on next. 
So, big, big hole down there. Just pushed it in there and let that dry for a little while. Then I, I reinforced this inside corner again with um, that wire, wire mesh I got. I'm gonna try and do a little bit better job down in that corner there with some mortar. So I guess what I'm gonna try and do is put a big old fat bed of mortar on there, see what happens. I might have to put like a half of it and let it set for a while and then put on top of that. Either that or I wait till to sit, put the bed on, get it just about right, and then come back tomorrow and finish it after it sets really nice and hard. I'm going to try and get it in there today. It's weather, I just felt a few drops. There's hardly any blue sky in sight. Nowhere. So i got to be careful now. i got a bucket mix, so I'm going to do a mix. Whatever is going to happen, I'm going to get that bucket on there. i got to get onto it right now, so I'll see you later. Okay, so I got that one in. Quite a fat joint there. Still a bit of a drop, but the lady said, don't worry about it, just put the thing in there. So that's that's all got reinforcing mesh in there. Now I'm getting ready to set this block. And I've wetted both ends and the bottom with some just water so the cement sticks a lot nicer. Or the mortar, whatever you want to call it. So this one actually has a, a male end on it interlocking but it's going to be at an angle so I don't know what is going to happen so, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick that on there and take it from there okay well this is the final project eight or nine hours worth of work and down inside there I got the reinforced concrete masonry mortar whatever now I'll fill this gently the corner didn't match up very good back here in the back but it's in the back and you can't see it. And the lady's happy with it. I'll put those, I'll, I'll put yeah. them tomorrow. I'll have to put the soil in. Yeah, we gotta, I think we need to wait a day or two before we put the soil okay. in. Okay. Uh, before, because it, it might, any of that stuff needs to get real hard before we. This is the mess I made over here with cutting and stuff. So put that up there to catch some of it. Put the bird feeder in crooked now to finish this off i'll just waiting a little bit longer and i'll take some sort of brush and just brush the joints got a, quite a bit of a step down here there's that big fat joint couldn't put it up there so step down there and a step up on the other side so i had to cut that one in the corner at an angle because it was too much difference between the front and the back so well, that's it. Okay, well, this is the final project. Eight or nine hours worth of work. And down inside there, I got the reinforced concrete, masonry, mortar, whatever. Now I'll fill this gently. The corner didn't match up very good back here in the back. But it's in the back and you can't see it. And the lady's happy with it. I'll put those, I'll, yeah. I'll put yeah. them tomorrow, I'll have to put the soil in. Yeah, we gotta, I think we need to wait a day or two before we put the soil okay. in. Okay, uh, right. Before, because it, it might, any of that stuff needs to get real hard before we, this is the mess I made over here with cutting and stuff. So put that up there to catch some of it. Put the bird feeder in crooked. Now to finish this off, I'll just waiting a little bit longer and I'll take some sort of brush and just brush the joints. Got a, quite a bit of a step down here. There's that big fat joint. Couldn't put it up there, so step down there and a step up on the other side. So I had to cut that one in the corner at an angle because it was too much difference between the front and the back. So that's it.